film that would help open up dialogue about this issue that affects everybody so poignantly, but really affects young people. It's really rare that you have an opportunity in life when you can talk to teenagers about a topic like gender roles or homophobia and um, feel like you're getting really genuine answers. There were a lot of times when um, I wouldn't expect that they would open up in such a personal way. I would ask a question and just sort of let them talk. I just feel like kind of loved in a way. I want to feel appreciated. There were a lot of moments that were really surprising. There's a real power in getting the adults out of the way and just letting young people speak directly for themselves and to each other. I just invited them to tell the truth. And a lot of times I would say to people, the only parts of this I'm going to use are when you tell the truth. And, um, and they all wanted to be in the movie, so they would tell the truth. <laughs> I think you do have to gain someone's trust and their confidence to be able to talk about these kinds of topics. But I also think for a lot of them, it was really, it was maybe a, a turning point in their lives. You know, I think about Micah, the young man um, who's the track star, who decided to be in the film even though he wasn't out in his community when we filmed the interview with him. You know, I'm 18 years old. I can't even take my boyfriend to prom without being jumped. He was so angry about what he had had to endure of not being able to be himself and he really wanted to speak out in the hopes that people who come along after him would have an easier time. And I think that was true for a lot of students. We had a really tragic moment while we were making Straight Lace and it's actually one of the saddest moments I've had in my whole career. It was hard because a lot of people didn't like him just because he wasn't like everyone else. We had planned to fly out Hannah Landers, the young woman who is telling us about working in the garden, to film another interview with us. And we got word that she had been killed in a, in a car accident. And it was really devastating to all of us who are working on Straight Laced. And we um, decided to dedicate the film to her memory. We were really honored that Hannah's parents came out to the premiere of Straight Laced all the way from Lexington, Kentucky, and they really wanted to be with us the first time the film was screened publicly. And all of us were really nervous about what, kind of, what that would be like for them, but I think they were so moved by the film and so proud that Hannah was part of it and proud to have her activism and her commitment to social justice memorialized on film. One of the things that I'm proudest of about Straight Laced is that so much of the work that's been done on this topic before has really focused on the experiences of LGBT youth, and that's really, really important work. But what, where there's been much less discussion are what are the ways that everybody, regardless of your sexual orientation, and including the majority of young people who are straight, what are the ways that they're also affected by these same powerful cultural forces? And what do we all have in common? Well, in working on the film, I really realized the power that a straight person can have when it comes to discussions about homophobia and LGBT issues. Um, the issue is not just something that affects gay people, it's something that affects everyone. And I think the film really shows how homophobia can affect a straight person and the things that a straight person can do um, for a cause that's not necessarily their own. Have Our goal is that by the end of the film, you're, you're sitting there thinking, oh my god, everything is connected to gender, and we really do need to talk about this more. I applaud this film because it actually brings forward the discussions that have to be a part of any community and any school if we're really going to treat everybody with dignity and respect.